about that. Uh, I'm also going to try. You can't record to the cloud and record locally at the same time on Zoom. That's a bit weird, but okay. Uh, all right. So I'll go ahead and get started. This was my slide so that I wouldn't forget the recording because I have gotten in the habit of forgetting that. What's up, Nathan? Oh, the few of you in the room can't see it. That's a good one. All right. Uh, voting member slide, this time with updates. Ooh. Um, okay, I actually can't tell based on the eboard chat discussion who's doing this. Um. <laughs> I, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. <laughs> so voting members, um, it's a bit late for to become a voting member this year, but um, be prepared for next year because voting is important. Um, so just the requirements attend la at least half the general body meetings of the year, two semesters combined, be an active part of the club, rather staff or on a team or just coming to events and just being known um, regularly, being active, um, be a part of the fundraising event, which I'm pretty sure is ra uh, not raised, um, waived for this semester and um, Voting is right around the corner. As Kenneth said, this is his last time hosting a meeting. Um, that means a new e-board is coming into play as of next month. Um, on March 21st, you're going to get a ping if you are a voting member. And then you'll be able to see the candidates and stuff like that. And if you don't know, if you believe you should be a voting member and you're not, please go ahead and get a hold of Kenneth. Um, but yes, voting is right around the corner. Voting is important, especially this upcoming year with the future of the club gaming being huge um so be involved yeah definitely be involved um in whatever way you can um this will make a little bit more sense later why specifically march 21st also uh begging to be a voting member will probably not get you much sympathy from me not that i am like in control of everything but uh, i'm a busy guy i'm sorry uh there's a lot going on in my life and there's a lot going on there's even more going on up here um, so please do give me a bit uh, on some of this. Um, if you don't know whether or not you're expected to be a voting member, then that's a fine question. That's a very simple thing. But if you're like begging your case, please let me vote. I'm, I don't really know that I have the time of day for that conversation. And it's not to say that like it's, you know, I understand and I appreciate that you want to be involved. And I appreciate that you uh, want to be energetic. This is not calling anyone out, by the way. I'm just saying this up front. Um, but uh, yeah, so just a heads up there. Um, I will do my best to try to uh, entertain as much as I can. Uh, but again, I have a lot going on. There's a lot going on in my head. Uh, to give you an idea of what voting exactly is going to look like, of course, this is what I, what I advertised this meeting was going to be for us. Um, and only current voting members for this school year will be involved. So most notably, you'll have to have attended four of the general body meetings. Uh, and we'll go from there. I will be your facilitator. I am not running for a club position and I am the highest ranking officer. So I will be the primary person that is facilitating elections both on the day and the nomination process in its entirety. Uh, obviously where necessary, I'll be getting approvals from Ebor just to make sure that I'm not like, you know, completely going off the radar, but I like to think that I'm a pretty trustworthy person at this point. Um, I wanna see what you all think is best for the club moving forward. Uh, not necessarily what I think is best for the club moving forward, right? Um, that's the entire point of why we do elections, the entire point of why we try to get folks involved in that way. Um, you can check the constitution for full e-board responsibilities that is posted in the welcome channel of the Discord server. If you've not gotten a chance to read up on that before elections, I would highly recommend that you do. Um, some of this stuff is a little bit outdated. Some of the stuff we've kind of adapted to be uh, kind of most convenient for the way we do things. Um, and there might be a few updates going out on that uh, in a bit. Um, we'll be rolling forward uh, and talking about that a little bit more after the formal general body meeting for when the minor board uh, comes in. So timeline wise, nominations begin March 21st anonymously and asynchronously on Discord. There will be a channel that opens up that you will see. There will be, or actually there will be a channel category, I suppose where there will be a bunch of stuff that you know lists a bunch of, here's what all of these roles are, here's everyone that's being voted on, et cetera. Um, 
And there will also be a channel and a bot that is set up that you as a Discord user can DM in a very specific way. And then that nomination will get sent anonymously into the channel. So you'll put the person's full name uh, and then the position you're nominating them for. And then that will just get put into the channel. And then that person will have to accept or deny that nomination by uh, emoji reacting to the specific nomination. There'll be an example of that that'll be provided uh, in the server. So it should be hopefully pretty obvious. If you are having difficulties with that, please do let me know. Um, the way that personally makes most sense to me um, is please accept all nominations for all positions you intend to run for. And so I say that saying that you can run for multiple positions. And the way it works is it's kind of a trickle down thing, right? So if you don't, let's say you want to run for president and you don't get elected president, but you're nominated in addition for the treasurer role, you will still be able to run for the treasurer role. But if you're not nominated for the treasurer role, I don't think it makes sense for you to just say, hey, I want to run for treasurer two on the day. Of. That's my personal opinion. And so that's the way we'll be doing this this time around. So please do submit all of your nominations. Um, it's anonymous, so you can nominate yourself. If you feel weird about that, you can have a conversation with me and I'll nominate you. That's fine, don't worry about it. Um, or you know, any other current eboard member uh, that you trust, do you wanna do that? Have a conversation with someone, it's not that big of a deal. Literally no one's gonna know. I don't even know who nominates people other than the ones that I nominate, <laughs> right? Um, so don't, you know, don't worry about that. Um, and then I'll obviously be keeping tabs on whether or not, you know, the person that you are nominating is actually a voting member, um, just to make sure that that is all good to go. Um, nominations are expected to close on March 29th. Historically, that's depended on exactly, you know, what ends up happening with the number of nominations that we get. Um, that I don't have firm times on these really either. I expect it will remain open March 29th until midnight or 11.59 on Monday night. Um, and I imagine that I'll be opening on March 21st sometime around noon is probably what I'm going to set the calendar reminder for. Um, but, you know, after on March 30th, I might end up shutting things down. So just try to get your nominations in. I think a week is pretty reasonable. Uh, I feel like we've been talking about elections enough so that you've thought about whether or not you want to run. You're considering that. Um, and you've got spring break to consider that as well. Uh, and then come back and then, you know, see where that goes. The election date, uh, mark your calendars, April 4th at 8.30. That is traditionally the Monday evening of a general body meeting. Um, so it shouldn't necessarily feel different or weird that you'd be coming on April 4th. Um, it'll similarly be in, in this room, Hitchcock 31, and on Zoom. I'll be taking attendance, and I will be asking people to leave if they're not a voting member, because you're not allowed to vote. That's the whole point of being a voting member. Um, I recommend, if you can, please try to attend in person. I understand not everybody can. I understand that things will come up. I understand that it might be pouring outside that night, right? But I think it's important. It would be very nice to see everybody in person. It would be very nice to see all of that activity happening in person. So please do attempt to come. I mean, we're in a lecture hall, right? If there's a hundred seats in here, there's gonna be maybe 30 of you here, right? So don't worry about that as much. There should be plenty of room to spread out and we've got a microphone set up. But again, if you can't make it, Zoom does exist. Um, and you don't have to like send me excuses for, oh, I'm on Zoom, you know, but that's, that's fine. Um, we'll get a decent idea of how exactly that goes. Obviously, some of you will be giving your speeches over Zoom. Some of you will be giving your speeches in person. We'll figure that all out. Uh, I'm not too terribly worried about it. Um, and we'll go from there. Um, there are more detailed guidelines in terms of speech links and things like that in the Constitution itself. And I will be attempting to remind you all when uh, the time comes closer for those. But the expectation is, of course, that you give a speech generally about your thoughts on club activities and uh, how you expect to kind of run things um, and what your specific ideas are for the club moving forward. 
Uh, you can see the positions on the right side. Most notably here is that asterisk. There may or may not be a position for a vice president. It's something that our minor board is going to uh, vote on over the course of the next two weeks. Um, and we'll talk about that more in the minor board meeting in a bit. Uh, but otherwise, uh, this will be the order um, unless discussed and determined otherwise by the minor board. Um, president, VP, treasurer, director of peer and diversity, competitive affairs, community management, and sponsorships for a total of seven executive board positions. If you're wondering about the other minor board roles, as a reminder, those minor board roles are technically appointed by the current executive board. So at their discretion, they may go through an entire revisement of the minor board. They might keep some people on, they might switch some people around, whatever the case is, that is up to the entire discretion of the executive board. And that is not getting voted over by the voting members. It's only the executive board that is about the votes. Okay, I just spewed quite a bit of information does anybody have any questions? Going once. Going twice. Sold to nobody. Okay. I'll go ahead and carry on. If you do have questions about the process, please feel free to let me know. I mean, you know, I don't mean to be a hard ass. Please do ask me questions. I just am not going to have a full on conversation with you for an hour about club affairs, because having a full on conversation with you for an hour about competitive affairs or about club affairs right now for every single person would be a bit much. Uh, okay, team updates. Uh, Dana is not here tonight. So I guess you get to hear me talk some more. Um, there's a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, shocking development. League of Legends, uh, Premier Scarlet, is out of the North Division at four and two in Seoul after unfortunate loss to Illinois State. Uh, and the gray team is currently four and two in the Victorious Triumph Series matches on Wednesday this week and Friday. The BGC team is currently two and oh in Risen with a match on Sunday. Overwatch is currently sitting at five and one in the Overwatch Collegiate Championship. They typically have matches on Saturday and I believe they've got two scheduled already for this coming Saturday. Uh, and then Rocket League, tons of teams, of course, that we have competing in Rocket League. Uh, the Beans are four and five in CRL league play. They took a win off previously undefeated UCF, uh, which was good to see. The Legumes are playing in the Midwest Collegiate Invitational this month. I actually didn't get the chance to see whether or not they won the match that they literally just played versus Indiana, uh, but that just happened. Um, and then the premier team has been doing pretty well for the most part. Uh, played four and now three in the NACE division. They also had a match tonight, uh, but they won last week over that team up north. Let's go. Uh, and also, they are competing in the CCA Opens, went four and two and three and two uh, in those tournaments. I forgot to take off Valorant here. So there's your shout out for Valorant from last month. Uh, there's results from CSGO. CSGO is playing in way too many leagues. Like, guys, one roster. I don't know why you keep playing and everything. But uh, they have, they're doing pretty well. Uh, they're pretty pumped about how they're doing. Uh, they've got a pretty good roster this year. So they're going as far as they can. Uh, Hearthstone is playing in the Collegiate Masters Tournament starting March 14th. So that is going to be coming up soon. And that'll be fun to watch. Uh, they have been doing pretty well for themselves as well, despite the fact that they took a little bit of a rough weekend recently, but I hope it amounts back. Uh, Halo has been doing pretty well as well. Scarlet, 9-0, and oh, and Gray, 5-3. and three. And Call of Duty has been playing pretty well as well. Main roster is 9-3, and three, and Academy is 10-0. and oh. So good stuff all around from our teams. Uh, if I didn't shout out your team, sorry, you I just don't have information on you guys right now. Um, all right, upcoming events. Ben, you want to shout out all the times that there are bi-weeklies? Yes, there are bi-weeklies going on uh, for the month of March. Um, there probably will be some more events coming April, but we're going to save that for later, so stay tuned. Um, as for March, we have two Valorant bi-weeklies planned. Um, and you might be thinking, hey, we had a Valorant bi-weekly last week. 
why are we having this one this week? Well, we're going to give you a send off for um, spring break because Cameron was so nice to allow us to do another one right before you guys send off and right when you guys come back. So that's going to be a thing that's going to be happening. So please, um, I mean, if you're interested, show up. Hopefully it'll be a good time. Um, March 24th, coming back. Uh, we'll have another Rocket League biweekly. Again, that's also 7 p.m. Thursday. Uh, and then there's the League of Legends biweekly as well. Uh, this one likely to be also the 25th. Uh, Buckeye Battlefield, new name for our Smash biweeklies. Next one is happening, happening April 2nd. Um, this one's going to be in the Ohio Union Round Meeting Room. I think this one's on the third floor. Um, should be relatively easy to get to, but if you need help, ask me or, um, or comment. Should be able to direct you there. Uh, April general body meeting. I believe by this time the elections will be over, so you'll be able to meet the new e-board. Um, show up in person. You know, hopefully we can have the new e-board here in person. That would be pretty cool. So you guys can actually like look at their faces and be like, wow, new club leadership. We feel good about it. All right, that's all I got. Thank you. Yeah, um, I will say we obviously, we don't take attendance normally for the last uh, general body meeting. There's not much to take attendance for really, uh, but would encourage you all to come out, meet the new e-board. Maybe there'll be more time for discussion uh, and maybe we'll try doing something fun. I don't know. I'll leave that up to uh, whoever to decide. Um, but all right, there it is. Uh, there is the attendance form, and if you all have any questions, feel free to ask away. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got. Oh, other things. Uh, Ohio State Esports is probably going to be doing a few events coming up as well. Uh, ironically, on the 26th day after the League of Legends, by the way, uh, there might be an opportunity for Learn League if you are a beginner to League of Legends. Um, might be coming down the pipeline. I think there's a few more things that have to uh, pass off for that, but hopefully you'll be seeing more of that soon uh, as well. Uh, and we didn't put up our usual thing, but if you are interested in casting or commentating or anything, especially Overwatch, let me know. I am once again begging for Overwatch commentators because we have none at Ohio State Esports and we are trying to do matches. Why are you raising a hand? You want to commentate Overwatch? Sure. All right, let's I'll do it. <laughs> you know anything about Overwatch? Yeah, okay, gotcha. All right, cool. Love to cast, but you've never played the game. What games do you play? Desmond, do you play Halo for us? I might be trolling. Yeah, 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 okay. You need someone, I'll do it. Someone tells me you don't want me. I mean, hey, if you know the game, look, I've been on Overwatch Pass, okay? I have played about two games of Overwatch in my life, all right? <laughs> um, there is, uh, you don't always have to know the game you're talking about. To be fair, um, I know enough of played a good bit to tag me in, coach. All right. Wait, no, Andrew, you're gone. What? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, okay, so question for anyone who's done Zoom more than I have. If I stop the cloud recording and start a new one, will it count as two separate files? Yeah, it will? Okay. I'm going to do that then. Bye, general body folks. Um, and on that note, for anyone that's joining in on the Zoom room, if you are not on minor board, which means you do not get my ping as of about two hours ago, you are free to leave at this point. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm not trying to kick you out, but please do leave when you are ready. Uh, we've got another thing happening on.